descriptive writing, the primary purpose of descriptive writing is to describe a person, place, or thing in such a way that a picture is formed in the reader's mind. For example, it does not tell the reader that the flower is beautiful, but instead gives descriptive words that shows that the flower is beautiful. The reader feels that he or she is part of the experience or the subject. Descriptive writing is used in many different types of writing to create vivid and lasting impression on the person of the person, place, or a thing. So, some characteristics of good descriptive writing. Good descriptive writing includes many vivid sensory details that paint a picture and appeals to all the reader's senses of sight, hearing, touch, smell and taste when appropriate. Descriptive writing may also paint a picture of the feelings the person, place, or thing invokes in the writer. So an example I picked out from Robert Cormier's The Chocolate War. Nausea began to spread through the stomach, warm and oozy and evil. And that really invokes feeling, an impression uh, in the reader, something they've probably felt before and they know what that, what that person was feeling at that particular moment. Good descriptive writing often makes use of figurative language such as analogies, similes, and metaphors to help paint the picture in the reader's mind. Besides the guard tower, there's water all around, black and shiny like tar. Good descriptive writing uses precise language. General adjectives, nouns, and passive verbs do not have a place in good descriptive writing. Use specific adjectives and nouns and strong action verbs to give a life to the picture you are painting in the reader's mind. Chose a se selection from Tracy Mack, Birdland. A drunk guy staggers into my field, red-eyed and swearing. Staggers is a very descriptive verb. She could have said walked, but that wouldn't have really portrayed what was happening. There's several different kinds of walks. There's a saunter. There's a skip. There's a bounce. There's a, you know, so staggers is a very descriptive verb. And finally, good descriptive writing is organized. Some ways to organize descriptive writing include chronological, spatial, or in order of importance. When describing a person, you might begin with a physical description followed by how that person thinks, feels, and acts. From Gary D. Schmitz. From Gary D. Schmitz, Lizzie Bright, and the Buckminster Boy, she opened the door and stared beyond the picket gate at Willis Hurd and his friends, who all broke into sudden and uproarious laughter, all except Willis, who was smiling his chicken-killing smile. Very descriptive, gives us an, a a version or a uh, very descriptive gives us an idea of what Willis Heard might be like because of his chicken killing smile and uproarious laughter rather than just saying they all laughed she said and this all of a sudden broke into uproarious laughter and then give us a little description she opened the door and stared beyond the picket gate so there's several good descriptive words in that particular text. So, until next time.